Hello everybody, this is Christine at Spring Creek Bathworks. I'm gonna poke my head around and try to get my face in here to say hi, especially because my mom has been watching my videos and she lives 1,800 miles away, so let's see. I hope that worked. Uh, wait, let me go lower just in case. Hi mom. So uh, this is the day after Christmas 2017 that I'm videoing this. And I'll just give you a couple updates. I've got the kitchen all cleaned and ready and my supplies are out. I'm about to weigh out everything and I just want to talk just a minute for getting ready to make soap and also video. Um, I don't usually film this part. Um, okay, so this morning I completely cleaned my kitchen. I cleared all the clutter. Uh, yesterday was Christmas, so we had a big meal. So um, we had some leftover things laying around or pots and pans that air dried that I put away. I completely cleaned my sink. I emptied the dishwasher because it was full of clean dishes we ran last night. And then I took the dirty dishes and loaded them in. I washed the sink because I will be doing my lye water in the sink. The way I start is once everything is clean and I completely wash my counter, I make sure that my garbage can has room in it to throw um, paper towels that have lye on them and other things. You don't want your garbage pail overflowing. My son is cooking something in the toaster oven. That just finished. Uh, I've got all my supplies laid out and my scale, and I am about to weigh everything. What I do is I put all the supplies here on the counter, and I lay them all out. I check my formula in my recipe book. I get everything ready. I get all of my containers ready. I have my eye protection out. Uh, guess what? I have a brand new latex allergy. I used to use these dishwashing gloves, these big, nice, um, long dishwashing gloves. It's nice because they protect your wrists and your forearms. And they're also really good, obviously, for washing all of your dishes with your fresh lye, active lye water and your uh, wet soap batter. But now uh, I cannot wear them because I get a uh, bad itchy rash. So I am going to have to wear these nitrile gloves which are just short. I will be wearing a clean apron and I have long sleeves on. I, what I do is I'm gonna, everything is laid out here on the island and as I measure it, when I finish with that oil, I turn around and I put it on the counter behind me. I get it off the workspace. I measure everything into this one big bowl and I make sure that I have good fresh batteries in my scale. So what I'm going to end up with in the end is my essential oil in here for the scent. I will have this with the oils. I'm going to measure my lye into these two little silicone bowls which I love. And I have my Tessa Silk already in my lye water pitcher. There's water in here only. This is a espresso coffee milk frothing pitcher that's 15 ounces. Well, it looks bigger than that. It's not 15 ounces, 50. This is 50 ounces, pretty big. Um, I got this from Amazon, stainless steel. And I only use this for the water and the lye. So I'm going to end up with my oils in the glass bowl, which is a heat safe. This stainless steel pitcher. I put my fragrance oil or essential oil in this lab. Um, forgetting the name of that type of glass that can handle the heat. It's made for use in labs. And my surface is going to be pretty clean here. I do need to run 
to the closet and pull out my molds and I'm going to measure and then I'll be back to make today I'm going to make lemongrass tea tree soap to restock because I've completely run out and it's a bestseller. I will talk to you later. This is Christine at Spring Creek Bathworks just talking a little bit about getting set up to make soap. Oh, one more thing. I discovered two things by uh, error. In the past when doing a video, I record on my iPhone. The first one is I plug it into a power source. The second one is I put it on airplane mode so that if anybody texts me or calls me, it doesn't vibrate or ring or anything. So that's my little tip for making a video. Have a great day. Talk to you later. Bye.